Hi everyone, I'm Christy and today we're going to show you how to change the sacrificial anode in your caravan or RV's hot water system. Let's discuss the anode in your suburban brand hot water system. We would first like to note that we are using a suburban brand hot water system for this demonstration. However, a similar process can be used for other name brand systems, which take on a similar look and feel. Always take care with this process for safety and if unsure about any aspect, contact the place of purchase for additional guidance. What is an anode and why should you replace it? The storage tank in the suburban brand hot water system is made of steel. Water from a tap or rainwater tank is never pure. It's got minerals and impurities which can react with most metals and cause corrosion. These chemical reactions are even more likely with the presence of heat. For this and some other technical reasons, an anode is usually installed in the tank. An anode is a rod of some reactive metal, usually aluminium or magnesium, but occasionally zinc. It is more chemically interesting to the mineral salts in the water and therefore reacts with them instead of the steel tank which would otherwise eventually corrode through. This is why it's known as a sacrificial anode. Suburban recommend inspecting the anode every six months and replacing it when it is 50% of its original diameter. The Suburban anodes have a diameter of about 17 millimeters. So replace it if it looks like it measures less than around nine millimeters. The length of time an anode should last varies dramatically with water conditions and heater workload. What you're going to need for the task. You're going to need a brand new anode. You're going to need a 27 mm or 1 and 1 16th socket. We recommend that you use an extension bar and you're going to need either a ratchet driver or a T-bar to drive it. You will also need thread seal tape which must be Teflon water safe thread seal tape, not the tape meant for irrigation plumbing. The first thing you're going to need to do is turn off your gas supply. Then turn off both the mains and 12 volt power. You also need to turn off your water pressure. Check that you don't have a 12 volt pump as well for water out of a tank. So make sure there's no water pressure to the system at all. Let the system cool down if needed. If you're short on time, you can help speed up the cooling process. With the unit switched off, turn on a hot water tap. Turn the water pressure back on and allow the water to cycle through the unpowered system, which will remove the heat. You can then turn the water off again. Open the front panel, which is separate on this unit, but will most likely be fixed on yours. You then need to operate the pressure relief valve which is at the top, slightly left of centre. It has a brass aperture underneath and a stainless steel valve with a handle marked PMC valve. You need to lift this up. It's under spring tension, so you need to hold it and wait until any pressure has vented from the tank. Be careful because if you haven't cooled the unit properly, it could still be hot, in which case you should stand clear of it while you do this. The water will vent down and not up. Then you can release the PMC. Before removing the anode, double check the power and gas are definitely off. Then you need to use your socket in an anti-clockwise direction. And then you can gently withdraw the old anode. You can see the difference there, particularly here where it's worn unevenly, which is a bit unusual, but definitely indicates that this one is worse for wear. You can also see the steel former rods here. These help hold the structure because aluminium and magnesium in their raw forms are both not particularly strong. Get rid of the old anode. Make sure there's no debris in the thread. Next, you need to install thread seal tape on your new one. Thread seal tape does have a direction. We need to make sure that the end of the tape will be stretched out and held down by the direction of rotation not lifted and curled back by it. 
If we're turning this anode in a clockwise direction in order to tighten it, then we really want the tape on in an anti-clockwise direction so that the end of the tape will actually be held down as we insert it and screw it up. Insert the anode. Twist it gently until the thread catches and then do it up finger tight. Once it's in finger tight, change the direction on your socket. Tighten firmly, but not too tight to avoid doing any damage to the thread. The anode is now inserted. Your next step is to gently apply water pressure. Once the pressure is built up, check around the bottom here for any leaks. Of course, there may be some water left over from when you drained the water out of the tank when you withdrew the old anode. Providing there are no new drips visible, you can apply power and gas and finally close the unit. Congratulations, you've successfully replaced the anode in your hot water system and your maintenance is complete for the next season. A few tips before we finish. Tip one, always check for leaks after servicing your anode. Tip two, check your anode at least every six months. If it's okay, put it right back in. However, replacing the thread seal tape is always recommended. Tip three, always ensure the pressure is released and the power is off. This is critical for safety. Thanks for watching and enjoy your next road trip.